Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today we celebrate the latest release by Alde New with a blog hoop. Make sure to visit my blog to join the hoop and enter the giveaways. I will be sharing 10 cards using products from this release. So this is the first part of the video where you can see the first 5 cards and tomorrow you can come back for 5 more. And let's start with my absolute favorite from this release. This is called Peaceful Wreath and it creates this gorgeous uh, wreath. You can uh, get the die separately if you like. It comes with um, these uh, layering stamps and also with a bunch of uh, sentiments, mainly with the word peace in different typography. So I'm going to show you the leaflet to get an idea of what you can do with it. I always like that when you open up the leaflet, you can see so many different ways to use the stamp. You can use the um, little leaves separately to create uh, designs like this one or you can use the wreath as a whole. So now I'm going to do the stamping. For my leaves I will be using inks from the oval set which is called Green Fields. So the lighter color that I'm using is Forest Glades and then I will go to the darker one which uh, is called uh, Evergreen. Now I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to stamp one more time. For this to work you need to uh, prepare yourself a little bit so I'm working on a square piece of paper and I have also made sure that I aligned it correctly. This is a great stamp set to create uh, this year's Christmas cards. The wreath is going to look gorgeous at the end and um, it is really easy to create so you can mass produce it. Plus you only need two layers for each of the elements. So there are two layers only for the leaves and two layers for the berries. Now for the first layer of my berries I used Heartbeat and the darker one is called uh, Vineyard Berry. Now you can use this wreath as it is or use the matching die to cut it out. Here is another product from this release which is called Fine Frames Cover Die. It cuts out a bunch of, di of different frames, nested one inside the other. And uh, I have used the dies to cut out this uh, tiny little frame. I'm adding some glue at the back with my glue pen. And uh, this is actually made out of uh, gold cardstock. I absolutely love this uh, super tiny frame around my panel. I think it adds a touch of elegance and shine on my Christmas card. I added foam squares at the back of my wreath and now I'm going to stick uh, the wreath on top of my panel at the center. Now of course you can stamp any of the sentiments from the same stamp set. I decided to go with a die cut and uh, the word piece is actually a die that I cut out from the matching uh, die sets of this stamp set. Now I'm going to add teeny tiny foam tape at the back so um, this is going to level up the word piece with my wreath. And I absolutely love the look of this uh, card. It's uh, really clean and simple and very elegant. To finish it off, I'm going to add a little bow that I created with my red ribbon. And my card is ready. You can take it a step further and add glossy accents or glitter on top of the berries. I decided to leave it as it is since I think it looks gorgeous. Moving on, I'm going to use a teeny tiny stamp set from this uh, release, which is called Season's Greetings. I think that we usually underestimate little stamps. There is also a matching die if you like to grab it. And I'm going to show you what a beautiful card you can come up with, with such an economical tiny little stamp. Now, if you don't want to do the die cutting, you don't have to go this way. But I decided to cut out the image that I'm going to stamp. So I did uh, work the other way around. You can see that I have already die cut the little piece and now I'm going to stamp on top of it. It's really easy to align the stamps this way since they just fall inside that hole. Then I can close the door of my Misty to stick those stamps at the door and I can place the piece back inside. For the leaves I'm using Forest Glades since I used this color for the previous card and I had everything on my desk and for the berries I'm going to use Heartbeat. I used the matching die to cut out my berry and as you can see I have a bunch of uh, these frames from the previous card so again this is a golden frame I'm going to use some uh, glue at the back of the frame and I'm going to stick it on this white panel. As I stick it down, I make sure that I leave just a little bit of white border on the two sides and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer and 
chop off the other two sides. I use some foam tape at the back of this panel and uh, I will stick it on a red card base. And then I am going to add some uh, foam squares at the back of this uh, little cutout and stick it on top of my panel as well. Now this tiny stamp set comes with a sentiment that of course you can use. I decided to showcase another mini stamp set which uh, has this beautiful uh, Merry Christmas sentiment. This was released in a previous release and uh, as you can see I'm going to stamp now that I have all the bulk which I don't recommend you doing. Do the stamping before you assemble your card. In any case I need to do it now so I'm using my Misty and if something doesn't go well I can always restamp it. And here is my lovely card using just mini stamp sets so you don't have to break the bank to create beautiful cards. Moving on to another stamp set which is called Blooming Branches. You get the branch as well as the little blooms. And of course uh, there are matching dies available. I do store them together but keep in mind that they come separately. Now I'm going to open up the leaflet for you so you can see some of the ideas. And this is where I got this dumb moment where I realized that you can actually use the branches without the berries, just like this example. And that's exactly why I love this leaflet. It gives you lots of ideas to make the most of these stamp sets. And here's a fun thing. In the die set, if you want to grab it, you will get two dies. One to cut out just the branches and another die that cuts out the branches with the flowers. In any case, I won't be using the dice for this card. I, I'm only going to do the stamping. I'm working on a white panel that is slightly smaller than the standard card. I'm going to stamp the branch with Parrot and uh, I will fill in the bottom of this panel with these branches and then I will stamp the flowers with Rubellite. The stamp set comes with lovely sentiments such as hugs, love that you can combine with words sending, lots of and such. So I decided to use a tiny little stamp that says sending and instead of stamping the word hugs, I cut out the word hugs using the script words die. And here is my finished card. I just combined the sentiments on top of my panel and uh, since the panel was slightly smaller I than the standard card, I used a card base that matched the rubellite color of my flowers. To finish it off, I'm adding some uh, glitter on top of uh, the little uh, dots. And here are some close-up photos on the third card for today. Now when it comes to flower stamps, Alta New has an amazing collection. This is called Playful Blooms and as you can see it is also a layering stamp where you can end up having a gorgeous result just by stamping. But you also get uh, the outline stamp for this stamp set so you can either combine the layers with the outline or just stamp only the outline and color it in with your favorite mediums. And in addition, it comes with a bunch of sentiments that you can use. So here is the leaflet with lots of inspiration and I love these color combinations. So let's make a card. Again, I did the die cutting first and I'm using the negative space to align my stamps. If you do it the other way around, where you stamp the um, stem and then the flower on top and then try to die cut it, you might end up with a flower that is not going to match the die. So anyway, I'm going to use my new Alta New brush markers to do the coloring here. And um, instead of using inks, I'm going to use these uh, watercolors. It's going to give me a beautiful watercolored look without watercoloring at all. All I do is to apply the color directly on the stamp, spray once with water and then uh, stamp and I also like to spray just water the second time which is going to help uh, the color to blend even more. By the way, I'm working on a watercolor paper. For my flower, I'm going to combine two different uh, brush markers. So the first uh, layer is uh, with warm sunshine. So I'm stamping once And I'm stamping one more time just with water to help the color blend out. I'm going to layer the second stamp. And this time I'm going with uh, Autumn Blaze. 
So you end up having this watercolored looked flower without watercoloring at all. I'm also going to use the outline now and instead of stamping with black I want to keep everything nice and soft so I will stamp with my Versa marking and then I'm going to apply white embossing powder. Now my flower is ready, instead of just sticking it on top of a panel I decided to add something extra special so I'm going to use this uh, die on the right side of my panel to die cut it and this is what I ended up with. I'm also going to do the stamping now, I'm using one of the sentiments from the same stamp set that says you are my favorite and I'm using some tape adhesive at the back of this panel to stick it on top of my card. My card base is uh, yellow and it matches the colors of my flower. And I have some foam tape at the back of my flower which I'm going to stick on the card where that uh, shaped cutout is so it's going to be slightly raised. Now I'm going to add some finishing touches. I'm going to add some uh, Nouveau Drops in uh, yellow that matches the color on the flower and I'm also going to add a tiny little bow. And of course do the bow first and then the little Nouveau Drops since I thought that uh, at the last minute I had to be super careful not to smudge the dots that are not dry yet. And finally let's move on to another favorite from this release, a really unique set. This is called Potted Plants and you get all those plants with uh, different pots that you can combine together. I am going to take it out for you so you can see the inspiration leaflet. And as you can see there are also matching dyes available if you want to grab those. And I absolutely love this idea here, there are even more ideas in the leaflet. I like this stamp set because you can create earthy toned looking cards that um, you can use for boys or girls and uh, they can be really generic for just saying hello or even for sympathy cards. This is not a layering stamp set so all I'm going to do is to just stamp a bunch of those uh, plants. I am going to use different colors for each of the plants and I will stamp a bunch here since at this stage I don't know which ones I want to use for my card. The colors, the green colors that I'm using come from an oval set which is called Tropical Forest and I'm using bamboo, parrot, olive and moss. I also stamped and die cut the pots and now with my craft knife I'm going to add a slit at the top of each pot so that I can fit inside the plants. And I want to keep this card uh, earthy toned and that's why I used Espresso to stamp uh, the pots here, this is not black. So I will have uh, greens and browns for my card. Now I'm using an alcohol marker by Altenew to add brown inside the pot and I'm also going to use a grey to add some uh, shadows on top of my pots. This is a warm grey so it matches perfectly with the tone that I want for my card. I also stamp these dots on uh, a panel with Espresso which is the same ink as uh, uh, the one that I stamped the pots and uh, this is a new stamp set actually which is called Dainty Swiss Dots and the fun thing about this stamp set is that if you rotate the stamp 90 degrees then those little dots fall inside the gaps. I will show you an example tomorrow in part 2. And now it's time to put everything together. For this plant I used tape adhesive so it lays flat on my panel but for the other two pots I added uh, foam tape at the back to have some dimension so they look like they are at the front. I have also created a card base out of green cardstock that uh, matches the colors of my plants. I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of this panel and stick it there. And for the sentiment I used one from the same stamp set that says have a nice day that I just uh, white embossed it on um, brown cardstock. And to add more to that um, earthy look that I was going for I also added some corrugated cardstock as well as wrapped some twine on my sentiment strip. And these are all the five cards that I made for today. And I will be back tomorrow with 5 more cards showcasing even more products from the latest release. 
Don't forget that this is part of a blog hub, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find there a list of all the supplies that I used, as well as details on how you can enter the giveaways and how to hop along with us. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow!